Simon Cafferty for Split Decision MMA UK down here at Ice FC 6. The main event's just taken place and we've witnessed the return of a great Mr. Rob Broughton. First round victory you've just got there, quite um, via submission. Um, must feel really good to be back and get a quick win. Yeah, it's good. It's always good to be back, but uh, amazing because I've had that many injuries and things go wrong and uh, problems. And uh, now I'm hoping I'll be back for, for good, for, for a good while. There's some good fights on. Uh, first fight back after three years. Uh, is always a, a, a thing you want, uh, but I'm glad. Uh, I, I would like to, to go a bit longer. I was in force he was going to start banging, but no, he, he went for the takedown. I was a silly boy with a. Uh, <laughs> but never mind. He, he third player to the lad. He stepped in at the last minute. And well, like you say, last minute that must be a, a tough task for him to come in against you last minute. Did that change your approach to it in any way, or were you just the same thing? Just I just want to get back in there. Uh, I just wanted to get back in. It was all about just doing the first hurdle first. This was a lovely hurdle to go. Uh, I would like to have gone on a bit more and test my skill, but you know, it's a fight to fight, and you never know when it's going. You just take it where you can because you never know what could happen. As you said, he, he went for the takedown. You just kind of just threw him off you, and you landed in side control and quickly worked that submission. Was was the submission, you know? Was that what you were aiming for, or would you like to uh, knock him out? You know, I thought I'd like to stand up a bit longer. You know, like I said, you never know where a fight's going to go. Stand up or go down. It was the worst. That's, that's my strongest position in, in side control. Uh, so that was a big mistake for him. If he sees all me, if he looked on me, <laughs> assuming me fights and stuff, and me, me grappling comps, he would see that. That's my strongest me position. And like you say, three years away. Did, was there any, even though you've been in there so many times before, was there any like nerves going in there thinking like, oh, I've not experienced this in a while? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, to, to be fair, I've had that, I've had, I've had all sorts going through my mind. All sorts, you always doubt yourself. I don't care what type of fighter you are, you always doubt yourself. You know, because the fight, like I said, the fights are unpredictable. You could, you could have the best camp ever, and then like you can just do the worst performance. Classic example is that is like. Uh, you know, I, uh, I've had some terrible, like, right, Phil de Fries, that was a terrible fight. I'm coming for you, Phil de Fries. So I'm going to put that out there. That's, a, that's something that I do want to rematch with. And definitely want to look for him, head on to him. That, that, that would be another great, that would be a great fight so, to see again. And, and with the Uf, the whole UFC, does that fighting on that big stage that the UFC is, does that make it easier going out in little places? Like, not this is a little venue, but going out there, is it a bit easier or is it just... You know, some, the, 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 uh, I fought in some of the big shows. The UFC is just amazing. I've got to say, it's an amazing uh, experience. I'm grateful for that experience. Uh, I just think I had so much to give, but just injuries and other things just crept up and took me down a little bit. But uh, as for the little shows like this, listen, the little shows, all your friends and family come. And uh, there's more pressure in you there because a lot of people from my neck of the woods is coming to watch me. And we always think, so everybody looks at you in this high and they think, you know, he's going to do it. So there's not <laughs> there's that much pressure on you. Uh, but you didn't seem to have any pressure tonight and I, I don't want to take up all your time because I could ask you so many questions <laughs> that I want to oh. ask. But it's great to see you back and I can't wait to see your journey continue. Um, is there anyone you want to thank or give a shout out to? Yeah, I want to thank uh, Darren Morris from Everton Submission Wrestling Club. Uh, Tom Battledge from Battledge MMA, uh, two great gyms there for MMA, I will say. Uh, Dave Jackson for my tie boxing, my pads, and uh, the lads from the Wolf Slayer as well, my sparring partners, and just my family and friends, thank you. And Rob Broughton is back, can't wait for the videos to come out and everyone can see it again, and enjoy celebrating it tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.